Well, the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens has been awarded $650,000. It is a massive gift from several different foundations to help fund a new position, name and honor of a visionary arts and education leader, as well as Jacksonville native. We are so blessed to have her, Dr. Janetta Besh Cole. So joining me now to talk about how this money will be used, this is Andrea Barnwell Brownlee, the director and CEO of the Kummer Museum of Art and gardens welcome so and I got this word last week congratulations it is an amazing amount of money that really is going to be used for the community to engage the community in a different way so tell me more about the leadership and art museum initiative and this was very competitive too absolutely first of all thank you all for the invitation to come mm -hmm. and spend some time with you but we're so pleased and so privileged that organizations and foundations like the Ford Foundation, the Mellon Foundation, and Alice L. Walton Foundation saw fit to give the Kummer Museum of Art and Gardens one of 19 awards to celebrate an incredible, incredible opportunity in the field of museums. So we're excited that we will name this very important position after Dr. Cole. Yeah, let's talk about Dr. Cole. She's truly an icon, past president of two colleges, former director of the Smithsonian Inter Institution, Institution's National Museum of African Art. So why name the position after her? I mean, that's obvious. And what is the goal? What will you do with this new position? Sure, well, her name is really synonymous with excellence. It's synonymous with Jacksonville mm -hmm. and how privileged we are that she has has decided to retire in her hometown and living at American Beach. So, you know, the one thing that really stands out is how much she cares about community. This position is going to allow us to really elevate the vision of Nina Kummer. Nina Kummer saw this opportunity as a, an opportunity to bring a museum to Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So 60 years ago, she said, this is going to be a center of creativity and beauty for all the people of Jacksonville. So this position continues to move us in that direction. In that direction. You know, I, I, I think it's interesting when you live in Jacksonville, I, I say it's often a tale of several cities. You know, you have the beach right there, but then you have people who will never make it there in their entire lifetime, even though it's like right at their fingertips. And then you have people who will never go to a museum and it's right down the road from them. So how do you bridge that gap to encourage all of the community to come and enjoy the space? I have the wonderful privilege of working with an exceptional group of experts. And day in and day out, we organize exhibitions and programs that are designed to say, we're open for everyone. We really wanna be accessible to everyone. The board of trustees feels the same way. Certainly uh, my predecessors felt the same way. And we're going to continue to beat that drum to make sure that the community knows that this is indeed your community, your museum. Right, and tell right now you have a really fun exhibit going on. <laughs> Tell me about it, um, and, and I think it'd be fun for everyone of all ages. Absolutely. Well, the, the exhibition you're referring to is, in, is entitled Flamboyance, mm -hmm. a topiary menagerie, and it's our very first horticulture exhibition. And so there are 50 flamingos that are made of topiary. There we go. We see them. I was looking for them. <laughs> out the gallery, throughout the, the, the gardens. And, you know, there's lots of incredible, incredible, there are bees, there are butterflies. We've never seen the gardens quite oh, like wow. this before. So it's an exceptional opportunity. And we're just so pleased that we have the opportunity to continue to open the doors wide open and make sure that everyone knows we're here and we're excited to welcome them. Do anything them. special over the summer? Anything going on? Absolutely. Yeah. Summer at the Cummer is right yes. around the corner. And we're great. so pleased. Our friends at PNC Bank have been sponsoring this for several summers. And it's an opportunity to hear music, to spend time in the gardens, to have picnics, certainly to spend time in our galleries, exceptional galleries all the time. And it's every so, Friday, right? Every Is Friday. That, every Friday. Every Don't Friday. miss it. Don't miss I, it. I missed it the past couple times, so I'm going to make it there. Thank you for coming in. And congratulations. Thank I can't you. wait to see how this money Thank really you. pours back into the community. Thank you.